Hello, Dead Drop fans. It's Cody, and welcome to the first uh, Dead Draw Deck Lab video. We're starting off with something extra spicy. Uh, Talon Flame Typhlosion. If you missed the article, definitely go check it out. Um, I go as in-depth as possible on each of these card choices um, in the article. It's not a lot to go into, honestly. Um, yeah, let's start out with our main attacker. We have Talon Flame, not main attacker, main starter. Talon Flame, if I can click on him, it's not letting me. Here we go. Um, yeah, so you might be thinking stage two, you can't start that, but his ability is in your opening hand. You can actually play him as your starter, which is important to note. Um, you can't bench them, you can only have them as your starter. Um, but if you start him, you're in a very good spot mainly because of his attack. Um, you have a colorless that does 40, which isn't the important part at all. The important part is actually that you get to search for any two cards out of your deck. Um, and those are gonna definitely help you get Typhlosions set up on your bench. Um, you see we're playing a 3-3-3 line with wallies, randoms, balls, things like that, and then a ton of energy. Um, ton of energy because of, oh my god, what is going on here, because of Typhlosion's attack. Um, for one f fire, we are doing 80 damage times, you're going to discard the top five cards of your deck, this attack is going to do 80 damage times the number of energy cards you discard. So, 80 times 5 is 400, you can potentially be doing 400 damage as early as turn two, actually, with this Typhlosion. So, let's see how you do that. Um, yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into the video here. I'm not sure there's anything we really need to discuss. Everything here is pretty straight. It's not a lot of uh, not a lot of thought. Did we make any changes? Yeah. Okay, so standard Typhlosion. Well, let's go. Um, a bad matchup for us is going to be any Nani X, um, say like Vespaquin, Raichu, stuff like that. Um, yeah, Volcanion is, is not good, but it's not bad actually. Um, I want to go first. We're actually going to choose to go second just so we can get a, Turn one arrow blitz off. That's normally a little better for us. And we don't. We actually have a really awful hand. Um, so I mentioned the town flame starts extremely important. Um, but it is a playable game game if you don't start it if you have a good hand hopefully we can draw something off that mulligan hey talent flame great okay see what my opponent's playing here it looks like a pretty standard evil tall so far from what we've seen saw garb in his opening hand um that fury belt won't save you still need three energies um so let's not attach actually let's just go ahead and ultra ball the talent flame because he's worthless now and a fire take another cyndaquil um wow we priced a lot of energy it's 19 20 3 priced 5 energy it's pretty weird Pretty weird. Let's throw a uh, throw a fire on there. The attack won't matter, so it's not like we need to attack for ten. Um, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully we draw either a random receiver, Wally. That's it. Actually, either of those two would be great. In fact, either of the, those two would likely mean a knockout on this evil tall. As crazy as that is. Yeah, okay. I guess. <clears throat> yeah. Alright. 
Let's go. Alright, random receiver. Wally, or do we just fold to this evil tall? Yup. Folding to evil tall. Alright. Whatever. We'll just give him the game. Unless he doesn't have an energy. That's literally all he needs. No, he doesn't even need that. I lied. Yeah. I mean, just attack. Attack me. All you gotta do is attack. Let's go. Alright, well. I would have given it to you, but we don't have time. Why can I not concede? Okay. So, let's try one more. That is the way it goes sometimes. Um, you saw we were about to lose the game by being benched out. You hardly ever get six prizes taken on you. In fact, I've played I've played this game or this deck quite a bit and I have never had six prizes taken on me. That's not to say that it's not possible. Um but I have never had that happen. Okay, see a spinner rack. Not really sure what we're playing against. Um Spinner rack, fighting in it. Okay, ninja boy. Alright. Um, this should be a better okay, there we go. Zygarde. I'm not sure Ariados what that's doing, but um let's go ahead and throw fire. We get a quick arrow blitz off, level ball. Cyndaquil. Good Ultra Ball for the third Cyndaquil, I suppose. Um, yeah, sure. Why not? Let's do that. At least threaten something big coming out. Um, so we see we have a 2-2 two -two left. Let's count our wallies and random ships. So we prized a random receiver, a level ball. No, I played a level ball. Prized a random receiver, a talent, flame, and an energy recycler. So, and then the, the rest, um, a cool lava and a typhlosion. So we can go ahead and arrow blitz. I'm actually going to pick up a level ball and a random receiver. Random receiver is guaranteed to turn into a wally. So it's effectively taking two cards out of the deck. So, when Typhlosion attacks, it's attacking for even more. T typically, I I just attack with Talon Flame until it dies. Um, hopefully, he misses his catcher. Nah, naturally. Nah, nah. Hopefully, he knocks us out. Okay. I'm getting everything thrown at us here. And it's bad. Um, bad to be played against us. Because this kind of thing can happen. Oh my gosh. So we're getting knocked out. That's actually a good thing. Um, it's going to allow us to use Arrow Blitz again. And since we knew that a 2-2... Two -two, um, or There was a Quilava and a Typhlosion prized. Really not too beat up. About. I'm actually going to split this up so he has to choose. Not that it, it's going to matter a whole lot. Actually, uh... Hmm. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, Ultra Ball. Throw a couple fires, obviously. Take a Quilava. And see what looks the best off of this Arrow Blitz. Um, random Receiver, likely. And I'm actually thinking Super Rod as well. And like I said, I'm gonna attack with this thing until it's until it's gone. Fury belt really well. Let's see, shouldn't matter. He's at 230 now, so we still. Oh my gosh, another one. Hopefully we draw something. Um, either Typhlosion, 
Ultra Ball, Random Receiver, Wallet. Okay. All right. We're good. Um. So, okay. So, let's see. I'm actually. Ooh, we top deck that super rod. Okay. Okay, we're about to. We're about to turn up right now. A super rod. Back. That. And then we can level ball for that Cyndaquil. And we know that we have a Quilaba Typhlosion prize, so there's not going to be that that awkward chance of us possibly throwing them. Um, so I'm actually going to be able to save this Talon Flame. It's pretty cool. It doesn't happen very often. And we need to hit three energies here. Boom. Take that, Zygarde. You dirtbag. No oh, broken heart. He is broken hearted. Ooh, and full lava. We are hitting what you might call the nuts right now. Um, the only bad things that we can hit on massive eruption at this point would be Super Rod. I think we prized one. I don't remember. Um, Energy Recycler. I'm pretty sure we did prize. Um, but there's two of them. And one's in the deck if I remember right. So, and, and, great, no, we're losing these things, they're important. This is the third time we've been in. Let's get it together. All right, so that's good. Um, so, random into Wally to save that Quilava from potentially being discarded. So we got good stuff going on. We're about to put the Smackdown on this Machamp right here too, so... But if we don't, Machamp will definitely be putting the SmackDown back on us. That's for sure. Um, okay, random receiver into Wally, because that's all we play. Wally into the only Pokemon in our deck. Well, the one that we care about, I guess. Going over there. Um, I'm just going to put a fire on. Well, yeah, I guess. Um, yeah, we need three fire. Three fire. Boom. Oh, energy recycler. Oh, well, I'm over it. Oh, and another, another broken heart. Oh, still hitting what you might call the nuts. He looks like he might sky return here. All right, maybe an N. Ninja boy. Zygarde, I'm going to guess. I'm going to go take a big guess. Um, so, yeah, there's eight. Okay, we are... Doing fine. Cause we're about to knock out Zygarde. Go ahead and do that. Do that. And do we do it? We do it. All right. So Zygarde, the champ, Ariados. Um. Not sure how much of a contender that is, or if that's a good example or not, but. Um, that's it. That's how the whole deck plays. You just discard a bunch of cards and do damage. Let's see some stats here. Um, yeah, 800. How many times did we attack with Typhlosion? I think three. I don't think we missed any massive eruption knockouts. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's it. That's the whole deck. That's how it goes. Um, we're going to be doing these videos periodically too. I'm not sure if they're going to be for every deck lab or just every other something like that. But um, if you have any suggestions for deck lab, just throw it in a comment down below. Um, we can try and touch on all kinds of different um, deck styles. I know I've been trying to mix them up a lot. So try and get something that everyone's at least interested in. Um, but yeah, for anything else... Uh, TCG related. Keep it right here on Dead Draw. I'm Cody and I'll see you guys next time.